I am Bruce with Prep Hoops, your boys high school basketball content writer, exposure scout, and rankings expert. Uh, you may notice that I'm not wearing my PH gear today. Instead, I'm rocking my dog shirt, courtesy of my guys at Ball Dogs. Uh, congratulations to those guys for their celebrity game this week, and thanks for the merch. Today, it's my great pleasure to sit down and talk with Joshua Jefferson of Liberty High School. Uh, Joshua is a 6'7 forward in the class of 2022. He attends Liberty High School in Henderson, Nevada, and he is currently the number one ranked player on our Prep Hoops Nevada class of 2022 list. Uh, Josh, Joshua currently holds offers from Pepperdine, UNLV, and Texas A&M. My scouting report on him is that Jefferson perhaps possesses perhaps the best hands of any player in the class of 2022. He's a terrific rebounder on both the offensive and defensive backboards. He has great feet and an advanced back to the basket game with a variety of moves over both shoulders. He commands a double team anytime he is posted, posted up and he's skilled enough to deliver accurate passes to teammates out of double teams. Jefferson can stretch the floor out to the college three and has true point forward ability to put the ball on the ground and make plays for his teammates. So let's jump right into it. Josh, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. And first, let me make sure I, I get it correctly. It's Joshua. Your mom told me to make sure I call you Joshua. And if that's what mama says, we got to do what mama says. So uh, Joshua, you know, I heard about you before I ever saw you play. Your former coach, uh, uh, Bird really spoke highly of your game. Uh, he thought that you would be a really, really terrific high school player, you know, when you were just coming into your freshman year at Liberty. Um, how would you describe your game for those that don't know you? Well, I would describe my game as kind of a point forward, but mostly like inside. Uh, I have a more comfortable posting up and being attacking to the rim, but I can also uh, facilitate and dribble and act like a guard if I have to. One of the best skills that you have, in my opinion, is your rebounding ability. You know, I love the way that you can rebound the ball, uh, not only flat-footed, you know, easy rebounds, but also in traffic and go get what I call out-of-area rebounding rebounds. Is rebounding a skill that you work on or is it something that comes naturally to you? Um, to me, it's just natural because I – it's just whoever wants the ball the most. And there's a little bit of skills, like you have to pick the right angles and when to knock somebody out the way and just not get called for it. So, yeah. It's always good to get away with a, a foul here or there. Um, you're extremely skilled with your back to the basket. How much time do you put in right now on working on your post game? I spend a lot of time with it because with Coach Didon, we always – working on multiple varieties of moves and stuff. So a lot of back-to-the-basket stuff and just different ways of finishing and stuff. What I really am impressed about you is how your games evolve. Every time I see you, it's like you've added, you know, a little something to your game. I'm going to test your basketball IQ a little bit right here. Um, how would you stop Joshua Jefferson? What's the scouting report on him? Um, you just have to – Lay low, hope he settles for jumpers, and just try to beat him to spots or just don't let him get a feel on you because he likes to spin off or just try to think of one move ahead of him because he's going to think of a way to beat you or set somebody else up. Okay. That's a very good scouting report. Obviously, I don't want you to give away all the secrets to the opponents. Um, now I'm going to take you back to a painful memory. I was on the floor a couple of years ago when you guys lost in the regional semifinals, last second game against Gorman, terrific basketball game. Um, I know it's still got to be tough, but I'm curious of what you personally learned just from that experience. I learned don't play, play through everything and play like you don't have another shot at it because I think we have a good shot of winning state next year, but last year we had a, or two years ago, we had a really good shot in. We just slipped out our hands because rebounding was like a big thing for us the whole year and boxing out. So, yeah, we just messed up that one time. It was the biggest time, so. Now you touched on it a little bit. Uh, you guys are reloaded. You're going to be one of the favors to win again um, next year realistically, what are some of the things that you guys have to do as a team in order to come away with the 5A crown next season? 
everybody just has to buy in because at times we felt like two years ago, we felt like not everybody was bought into trying to win or everybody was just disconnected at times. But next year, we're just going to have to be like a brotherhood and have everybody's back, help people when they need it. So that's what we're going to do. And you're in a different role as well, right? Two years ago, you know, you had older guys like Juju, um, you know, Dante was on the team. So you had other guys like that, but you're going to be counted on as, you know, not only to produce on the floor, but also to be kind of a leader to the younger guys. Uh, do you, is that a role that you look forward to and how have you been preparing for a, more of a leadership role next season? I look forward to it a lot because we have a new coach, so it's going to be a different atmosphere, but I can be more vocal on defense offensive end and helping people off the court. So, and Aaron Price will help with that a lot also. So he'll be right there with me to help everybody out. Good point. Uh, you brought up the new coach, uh, Kevin Soares. Now, what do you know about Coach Soares? Uh, we only met him. We met over like a Google Meet a couple, like a week ago. So don't know much about him, but just know that he came. He was a really good coach at Foothill and just came from Bonanza. So that's all we know for right now. But we'll get a better relationship in like a couple weeks. Okay. Now let's talk about what everyone wants to talk about, your recruiting. Now, can you tell me a little bit about, about the schools that have offered you right now? So my four schools are Texas A&M, UNLV, uh, Ball State, and Pepperdine. And then since Coach TJ went to Iowa State, I've connected with him and one of the assistants. And then Colorado sends me a lot of stuff. Um, I talk to Santa Clara a lot. Um, there's just a lot of schools that I've talked to here and there, but it's just like too much to remember right now off the top of my head. Well, and that's Cal, a, talk to Cal a lot too. So. Well, that makes sense, especially with so many uh, schools coming at you right now. What's some of the factors that's going to go into making your final decision? I want to feel somewhere where I feel like I'm at home so I don't get homesick and then everything is taken care of. I don't have to like feel like I'm rushing or worrying about anything. And then I'm able to get a good education also. So that's a big, big factor too. Now your brother Cam played at UNLV. Uh, your dad had a career in the NFL. Uh, how have their experiences helped you with this recruiting process? They have been great because they always help me with different scenarios to think in my head what questions to ask and my other brother Noah he's been through this too so he's been helpful he's just getting ready to like go to NFL or CFO wherever he intends to go so they all three of them have been a big help in wherever I decide to go it's awesome man I know how important it is to have that family support when you're making these kind of tough decisions um, let's talk a little bit about your grassroots season. Now, who are you going to be playing with this summer in AAU? I'll be playing with Dream Vision. Okay. Um, and now, you know, playing on any of the shoe circuit gives you an opportunity to go against, you know, all the top guys in the nation. Now, I'm not going to tell you who's the toughest, but who's some of the guys that you look forward to competing against uh, in your class? Uh, I look forward to playing Compton Magic later this year because I know they're going to have a good team. They all usually do. And whatever top guy they're out there, I just want to play because I like playing the best. I don't like bagging away from competition. So that's not who I am. So this should be fun. Now, what are you working on? I know you're always in the gym. What are you looking to improve on this summer? I'm looking to improve on quickness, my shooting, and just being aggressive 100%, playing hard all the time. Now, you know the game of basketball is a grind. When you look down the road, you know, five years from now, where do you see your basketball career? Um, I see myself in the any type of pro. Just want to be a pro. And if I keep working hard, I can get there. So that's where I see myself in five years and just being successful anywhere. Well, that's awesome, man. Like I said, I wasn't going to keep you long. I really appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck to you, and I look forward to seeing you play out here on the circuit this summer. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you.